All right, so today we are going to be talking about Honkai Star Rail and its summoning system. The most important part about a gacha game, which is something that a lot of people want to figure out, a lot of people want to talk about, a lot of people want to know about. We're going to be talking about which characters or what things are going to be on the start of the game, what the pity systems like, what the summoning systems like, possibly the summon animations, all that type of stuff. And we're going to be going over every single one of those. So with that being said, really quickly, Make sure to sub to the channel. Make sure to give, leave a like on the channel. Let me know if you are hyped for Honkai Star Rail. I am going to be posting Honkai Impact and Genshin Impact videos. So if you like any of those games, make sure to sub. Make sure to like all that type of stuff. But let's go ahead and talk about what is the summoning system like in Honkai Star Rail. So on Honkai Star Rail, we're going to have four initial banners at the start of the game. This is something that is very subjective because it's a closed beta test. Um, but I'm very, very sure that these banners are probably going to be what the starting banners are going to look like. Um, in the future when the release actually happens for Honkai Star Rail. So we're going to get a starter banner and this starter banner lets you do five multis. With these five multis you get a discounted multi for all five. It being eight tickets or eight summons compared to ten. So that's really really good getting you you know some characters, getting you some weapons in the game. Um, well weapons is very subjective. I'm really comparing it to Genshin and Honkai to make it a little bit easier to understand um, between the two. Um, but this helps really easily get your account with some characters, some weapons, all that type of stuff. And then at the end of the five multis, you will get a five star between any of these characters in the front here. Um, all these characters are really, really cool. A lot of these, some of these characters are really, really busted. So hopefully you get what you want here. I'm definitely going to hope for Bronya when she comes out um, officially. So whew, I cannot wait for that. But talking about the main part or the main portion of what everyone wants to look for. What does the promotional banners look like? What does the other banners look like? Now in Genshin, of course, you have the promotional 5-star um, and the weapon you have to summon for. For Honkai Impact 3rd, you have to summon for the promotional character, the promotional weapon, and the stigmata. So yeah, there's two different systems, but one of them has guaranteed character on pity, and one of them has 50-50. Little did you know that Honkai Star Rail is adapting the 50-50 system from, uh, from Genshin Impact. So yes, in this game... If you don't end up getting the promotional character, which is the, of course, winning the 50-50, you will lose it, get another character from the standard banner list, and then you will end up uh, getting the promotional banner, which is, you know, whatever character is on the banner at the time, and you will end up getting them the next time you get a 5-star. So yes, we are getting the non-guaranteed pity 50-50 um, type banner or style for pity. So, you know, don't expect after every pity you get, you're going to get the character. That is not the case. It's not like Honkai Impact. It's more like Genshin Impact in that summoning system. Now, the one thing that's really, really good about this um, pity system is that it carries over just like Genshin Impact. So if you didn't get a character that you wanted um, from another banner, you lost 50-50, you didn't have enough gems. The next time a character comes around that you really like, they will still have that guaranteed um, promotional character pity. And you will end up getting the character once you finally hit another 5 stars. So that's really, really nice to know um, that... You know, you can save up those pities or you can save up that um, promotional five star pity. And that's for something that I first a second thought that they were taking away when I read it the first time. But now that I read it again, it's there. So I'm glad that that's the case. So 50 50, not guaranteed pity. And then it carries over. So that's something to um, remember. This game does have something like Star Glitter from Genshin where you can get the promotional passes or the tickets or the summons. The standard banner summons the two characters every month and then the so-called weapons like i said this is very um analogy like to say these are weapons but the weapons in this game so something very similar i'm pretty sure they'll add more stuff here like maybe uh, materials and all that um in the future but we'll see and then talking about the weapon banner is going to be like again genshin again not honkai impact um you are going to be summoning for light cones which are the quote-unquote weapons they fit on only certain characters um, only giving the effect to give the full effect to certain characters. So you do want to watch out with what you summon on. If you want this, they're pre pretty much going to be for their signature character. So like for this one in the night, it's most likely going to be only prioritized and signatured for Sele. You can use it on other characters in that same path or same type, but um, it's going to work the best on Sele. So with the weapon banner, the actual promotional character banner is 90 pulls for pity. The weapon banner or light cone banner is going to be 80 pulls for pity. And this character um, weapon banner is not guaranteed either. You have a chance of getting um, a standard banner, light cone, standard banner um, weapon, but only 25% instead of the 
um, 50% that you have on the promotional banner character. You have a 75% chance of actually getting the promotional light cone, which is really, really good because you don't want to summon on a weapon banner and not end up getting the weapon. And then you just wasted up your crystals or your primo gems or whatever they want to call it when, you know, Honkai Star Wars starts. So that sucks if you end up getting it, but you know, you have the end of night, the one for Sela, and then you have all these other five star light cones that you could possibly get for other characters. These are the standard banner ones. So yeah, it's adapting more of a Genshin Impact um, type feel for the summoning system. Um, having the standard banner right here with, you know, the free summons, and then you have the promotional character with the three, four stars, and then dropping light cones periodically, dropping um, the characters periodically, and then of course the weapon banner right here. So if there's anything to take from this is that it's adapting more of a Genshin, Genshin style pity system with, you know, it carrying over to other banners where the, if you lose the 50-50, you can get the, the actual promotional character in the next 50-50 or the next pity that you get. And then the same thing with the weapon banner, slightly better rates if I'm not wrong with the weapon banner because you get a 75% chance of getting the actual promotional weapon banner since they're not multiple at the same time. This could be subject to change in the future if they add more than one light cone in the future with that's promotional. And another thing to say is that the promotional light cone and the promotional character will not be on this um, stellar warp or the standard banner when they leave. They are going to be um, have to be gotten on their banner or on their rerun. So make sure you remember that. And for the standard banner, you are going to be, of course, summoning on this periodically whenever you get free summons from events, from mail, all that type of stuff. And it follows the same premise, you know, after every um, nine multis, you will end up getting a five star. And another thing, oh, and this also has light cones as well, so it can drop five star light cones. Another thing that's really nice about this is that after 30 pulls on this banner, you will, able to be, you will be able to pick any of these characters um, to join your party. So that's really, really cool. I'm definitely going to want that Bronya when it's my actual account and not the closed beta account. That's pretty much it when it comes to what to expect from the pity system or the um, summoning system in this game. You have a starter banner that's really cool, gets you a 5 star pretty quickly into the game. Um, especially with the pre-registration awards, you're going to be getting 2 multis off rip. So you're only going to need to save up around 3, 30 more tickets or around 20 something tickets because it is discounted. Um, the promotional 5 star will end up coming with 3, 4 stars. It has 50-50 on it. Um, if you lose it, your next one is guaranteed to be the character. And then the light cone banner has a 75% chance of getting the um, promotional light cone. And then also, same thing, if you lose the 50-50, I mean the 25-75, I guess. If you lose that, you end up getting the promotional one afterwards. Character banner is 90 pulls for a pity. The weapon banner is 80 pulls for pity. And the standard banner, you get a, a guaranteed character of your choice at 30 multi. So really, really looking forward to this game and really looking forward to summoning a lot in this game hopefully uh you know y'all can join me for that um ride but other than that that's pretty much it for this um thank you guys so much for watching all to the end hopefully y'all can see me make content for honkai star rose really really gonna be fun other than that thank you guys so much for watching see you on the next one and peace